Hey, welcome back to our bar. Today we're going to take a look at a game called Rolling Bird. It's free off Steam. It's, uh, it's pretty fun. If you ever played Rolling Thunder back in like the NES days and arcade time frame, I think Tengen made the NES version, I'm not sure. But this is a free game, came out in 2018, called Rolling Bird. It has more like a, um, like a Commodore 64, IBM, EGA kind of look to it. So you have the options here. Has controller support, you just have to do the inputs and map everything out uh, initially. It'll hold them. Um, come on, our dimension developer is Hai Jong Park. Publisher is Psychoflux Entertainment. So, go to start, press up. Just laugh out the way. There are a couple different enemy types. Can go up here if there's a blue rail. The red is a block. Yellow takes one shot. Uh, green guys have bombs, as you can see. Get ammo up. So you're just trying to get to the exit of each level. From what I can tell. And then, oops. You can take a couple hits from like hitting people or like punch you. Uh, of course, those guys will be shoot you twice and they'll die. Get an SMG here. Or an MG. Looks like an SMG. That's pretty fun. And for free, it's responsive. So it's nice. Then you can hide in any of these doors you want. But he will kind of like swarm you a little bit. Yeah, you gotta watch those guys. So it's pretty, it's definitely fast action. Got a shot, so if I take one more shot from a gun, I'll be dead. If I get punched, I think like two more times, that'll be it for me too. So bumping into people, you know, not getting hit, it's not the same thing. So I haven't made it past like level two. And even getting there can be a hassle sometimes, as you can see. But we'll try to get there. <laughs> got a bomb in the, in the chest there. It's never good. And then that's it. Got to retry. Let's give it one more go here. So I tried the uh, just run through it. That doesn't really work. You kind of really get aggressive. And uh, the guys, the, the purple guys with the guns, some of them will shoot low, so you have to like be aware of that. So I'm getting punched up. And shot. The end. <laughs> but really, it's, it's pretty fun, and it has a kind of like keep on playing gameplay. So, it will get frustrating after a while, like anything else, if you don't get very far, like me. It's only been to level 2. Um, but this time I would play again. So I got it, grabbed it last night. That was pretty good. But if you like this type of game, kind of like that old NES difficulty. So a little unforgiving, but it looks good. It plays good. Uh, it's pretty responsive. Got scoreboards, stuff like that. Uh, I'm not sure what the story is. If I'm trying to save somebody or, you know, stop a bomb. I don't know. Anyway, you're just shooting people, trying to get to the next level. And I get hit by bombs. But I like it. I would give it. Um, I heard it received like a 6 out of 10 or something. I would give it higher. Than that. I would give it like a 7. And being free, I would give it like a 7.5 because it does everything it intends to do. Uh, kind of difficult. Uh, it's not overly difficult. <clears throat> I mean, you can get through the level. And you see, I'm kind of rushing and like talking at the same time. So. If you pay attention, you can get further. I mean, you will probably suffer a couple, a couple rounds just getting wasted. So it's only not a cakewalk. 
So I would give it a 7.5. I mean, being free, it looks good, plays good. But that's why reviews, I guess, aren't very long, because it's all you can really say about them, right? Thanks for watching, Have a good day or night, wherever you are. Check out Rolling Bird on Steam for free.